What's up, fire signs? Are you ready to find out how your person sees you or views you? However you want to say it. Everybody has a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy within themselves. So, I'm going to describe how your person sees both of your sides. Um, your masculine and feminine sides, doesn't matter if you're man or female, we all have them in there. So how do they see your masculine side? For fire signs. The Godfather, okay, reliable um, leader. Could be Italian, could live in a big city. Um, could have a checkered past, could be an organized crime or have a history of that. <laughs> I just feel like they, you have like a criminal mind. Not necessarily that you are criminal. Maybe you like true crime. Maybe you're just good at like finding shit out. <laughs> you're just good at like <laughs> being scandalous. But not, I don't feel like it's a bad way. I feel like you're good at like cutting corners or like getting in places. <laughs> And your feminine side is Wednesday, the Adams family. So very unique, very smart, um, has their own style. Could have a history of uh, depression or maybe just come across emo sometimes. Um, <laughs> most people just assume that Wednesday is a bitch, but Wednesday just doesn't have a filter and she doesn't have emotions. Like she doesn't lean on her emotions like other human beings. So this person could come across as cold and heartless, but not actually be cold and heartless. They just don't have a filter and they just, they're more like Spock. Like they're factual based and not emotionally based. Let's see how they view your energy before we get in more descriptions about you. How do they feel about your energy? Ooh, the stingray. Um, I think you you give zingers. Like, you're good at telling people off. This person, <laughs> hold hands down. Like, don't piss that one off. They will crush you. <laughs> but I do feel like this person has respect for you, though. I don't feel like they're on the other end of your screaming. Or maybe they have. Crow, um, they see you as like a witch. Warlock something like that in the occult um, very connected to spirit very mysterious elephant good memory very kind very compassionate something about your eyes they trust you by your eyes tiger th there's a regalness to you and your energy like royalty like people respect they just have they might call you ma'am and sir just because of that's the energy you give off like you might not actually have any power it's just how people treat you your energy seems regal to this person let's see how they view you your character By the way, this could be for a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. If you have any ideas about love readings that you want for Valentine's Day, put some suggestions suggestions in the comments. They'll be free. Be like, I'm a Leo, I'm a Sag, I'm an Aries. I want to know who I'm going to marry. Or I want to know what's going to happen on Valentine's Day. And I will shoot that reading out to you as soon as possible. All you got to do is ask. Comments below. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> All right. Ooh, the angel. So they see you as an earth angel, someone out here that's always helping people, that has a divine purpose. Um, sweet. Very, very, like, white witch, white healer, uh, shaman type of vibes. The inventor and the messenger. So they, they could see you as a scientist, somebody with a very smart brain. And even if you didn't go to school, you're just good at fixing stuff. Um, and if it's not like literal stuff, you're good at suggestions. You're good at fixing problems and not like inventing stuff. Um, the messenger, again, um, really getting like psychic medium vibes. They could feel like you can channel the dead or connect with spirit. Let's see, what else we got? The yoga instructor, the hierophant, very spiritual. You could be a spiritual teacher, life coach. This is how they're seeing you. The magician, the programmer, powerful manifester, powerful spiritual gifts. You're like the goat. <laughs> oh my God, the empress, the Etsy 
queen. This is somebody who stands in their power. Like they come in a room and everybody feels their power. Um, very nurturing, very sweet, very loving boss energy. Um, let's close out your reading with a little bit more details about you and how they see you. How does fire signs person see them? I saw one flip. Where'd you go? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> I could have sworn. Oh, there it is. <gasps> I knew it. Prostitute. No wonder why. In that aspect, I think that you um, put yourself... This person thinks that you're too nice. Like you allow yourself to be used, not like you're a prostitute. They just wish that you would put your foot down more and say no. I don't feel like it's a negative connotation. Child orphan. This came out for the water signs as well. Or oh, no, wait. I think it was air signs. This person recognizes maybe um, you don't have a family or you don't have family that you can count on. They really want to be there for you. Um, you could be a single parent and they really respect that and admire you for that. Or this is recognizing you you overcame something that in your life that stunted you as an adult. There's some part of you this person sees like just a wounded kid that they want to protect. Oh, but... I think they see you as a good mother or will be a good, or a father. This could be father too. Um, but mother energy is nurturing. You're just very nurturing. You're very sweet. Um, you take care of others. You put everybody above yourself. Like people run to you when they're hurt and scared. Like somebody would run to their mom. You know what I mean? You're a nurturer. You're a caretaker. You're very sweet to this person. Rescuer. Yeah. You are definitely an angel to this person. Um, they just see you as very divine. They love you a lot. They have a lot of respect for you. Um, this person would step up to bat for you. I don't feel like they're saying anything bad or feeling anything bad. If anything, this person thinks you got flowers coming out your butthole. <laughs> I hope you liked it. I hope it resonated. If it did, if you want more like these in the future, please hit that like button below. If you like my energy, please subscribe. I would love to have you. No pressure though. All my ride or dies, I freaking love you so much. Thank you for accepting me and being a part of this channel. And I will see you all next time. Toodaloo. Sorry, that was cheese. Bye guys. Toodaloo. What the? <laughs>